who gets the dog in a Florida divorce? Really challenging situation. Florida law, unfortunately or fortunately, depending on your perspective, regards your animals, pets, exotic, routine, household, domestic, outdoor, whatever the case may be, as marital property subject to equitable distribution. There's generally not a separate fight involving your dogs or animal custody like you would have with children. The court doesn't necessarily divide those issues to determine who's best situated to take care of whichever dog, cat, bird, bunny, rabbit, fish, uh, at which times, when, where, how, and what, how, and with pickups, and with overnight time sharing and those sorts of issues that are otherwise involved when there are minor children. Instead, the court generally is guided, even though it's not clearly specified, in my opinion, in the statutes or necessarily in an abundance of case law, because there are only a few cases on the subject. The court generally provides that one party or the other will obtain uh, possession and ownership, sort of like you would a house or furniture. Uh, that the, the court will decide which spouse uh, will have ownership and possession of the dogs, the cats. In this case, uh, it may be a good idea to provide evidence of who owns the uh, dog officially, who has a certificate of ownership or adoption papers, who takes the dog to the vet. Just because it may be treated dissimilarly as a child custody case doesn't mean you cannot provide evidence and facts if this ultimately gets to trial. You still have to argue your case for why you're best situated to have possession control uh, of that particular pet, why, when, where, and how, who is uh, going to feed your dog most frequently, take your dog for walks, who's going to take your dog to the vet when necessary, when there's some sort of an issue involved. All these sorts of things may be key and critical factors in convincing a judge in the court of who the better dog parent will be, even if there's not going to be a custody arrangement per se. Now, transition very quickly. If this is going to be an uncontested situation, the court's not going to prohibit you, in most cases, from coming to an arrangement where you have week on, week off visitation with the dogs or the cats. The court's not going to tell you absolutely not to. But the issue may become, can you enforce that? And will the court listen to your case with a supplemental petition or a motion for enforcement after the fact, after you have a final judgment, is the court going to hear your case and decide, well, now um, person A no longer cares for the dog well enough and person B has 100% with the animal, then what is the court going to do? The court doesn't necessarily reserve jurisdiction under those situations. So while this area of law has some clarity, there are many gray zones. And because of that, if at all possible, you may wish to consider as a pet owner or co-pet owner, having an arrangement on your own terms rather than having the court award ownership of your pets to one party or the other because you may be the person that misses out or of course you may be the person that has 100 percent ownership but that's a difficult situation not just for yourselves but also for your pet thank you